people have done a vast amount of work across the trust. Um, and um, whether you use the term innovation or improvement or transformation, there's a, there, there's a theme there, isn't there? Um, and that, that's going on all the time. Um, I don't see everything. But what I do see um, are the delegates who come through my, my um, training classroom um, and they present their projects to me. So I'm much closer to those. Um, and it's one of those that I've chosen for the Chairman's Innovation Award. Well, throughout my, um, my job, I've identified there was an issue for OTs generally accessing telecare equipment, which is, you may have heard, it's the care line button, the red line, the red button that you can press in an emergency to summon assistance. But there are a vast array of other pieces of equipment that patients can access as well. There are a lot of instances where we couldn't get things in place quick enough for discharge or soon enough in the community to support people at home. So I've been working with council colleagues that actually provide the telecare equipment, um, looking at the devices that meet the patient needs, um, but also meet the needs of discharge and facilitating a discharge home safer um, from hospital and quickly. Patients don't get better in hospital, they get better at home. So the sooner we can get them back into their, their safe space, the, 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 it's, 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 it's the right thing to do all the way around. Well, I thought it was quite easy, <laughs> but it's not. It is complicated. So it's working across the council, the housing association um, and NRS, which is our equipment suppliers, and about all their policies and procedures and demands of paperwork. Attending the training gave, gave Gemma um, lots of tips, tricks and tools to enable her to make a real difference to the project. Um, the project itself has... Um, has and will have a huge impact on frail patients coming through um, our A&E department, particularly those who are uh, anxious about going home um, and their families and carers as well. They, they become anxious about, about mum and dad going home, for example. Um, and if we can give them a little bit of technology that allows them to feel that much safer, we're in a good place. Mm -hmm.